We're live. Welcome to the MWG podcast, episode 30, uh, 34, 30, damn. <laughs> 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 Hold on, let me just see. Let me... Welcome to the MWG podcast. This is episode 35. one of season four. Welcome to the MWG podcast. This is episode <laughs> one. Of... Can we leave this in? Thank you. Yeah, we're in. <laughs> this is the MWG podcast. Yeah, sure, why not? It's a, <laughs> it's a tradition at this point, and this is the behind the scenes one year anniversary episode. Uh, it's been an entire year of recording the podcast, 35 episodes. This is episode 35. And man, I just can't believe it. We've been doing this for 35, you've done this 35 different weeks. Yeah, five different <laughs> weeks. Can't believe we've been doing this for a year now. A whole year. That's, that's crazy to me. I know, like, People usually say that when they've been doing anything that long and they always have this conversation or people will typically have this conversation, but dude, legit. Like, I'm just like, wow, it's really been a year. Like, honestly, it doesn't really feel like it. And I don't know if it's because of COVID or, or what, but it doesn't feel like it's been a year. <laughs> maybe because be COVID, yeah. Yeah, that I, that maybe contributes to it, but like maybe because it's a routine. Yeah. I kind of just expect to record now and you know what that's not a bad thing but yeah it's just time flies we're experts now time flies when you're having fun right (laughs) time flies exactly that's why the editing takes so long (laughs) 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 no i actually enjoy that that's probably probably one of my favorite things because i love seeing the sound waves and then recognizing them as me taking a deep breath (laughs) <laughs> and every time i'm about to talk you see that you know when a sound wave blow up it, it does it does yeah I, I you don't have to tell me i'm well aware i don't even need to see the the audio file i already know for a fact you see that you see the big ass the big ass waves <laughs> you know what's coming <laughs> there was one that was weird like every time it was it was huge like for some reason <laughs> yeah i you know what I really should work on like the position of my mic. I think I'm pretty set on the one I have now, which is right in front of me. Cause at one point it was kind of like a little, it was kind of a little far from me, not far from me, but a lot farther than now. And I would, I, I wouldn't know if I was supposed to talk louder or quieter, but um, yeah. Uh, so. Oh man. Yeah. But before we get into the one year anniversary, our special will be uh, a live, I guess, playback or review reaction video of our first episode. But before we do that, we'll do our uh, reaction to E3, which was in the past week. And I mean, I'll be honest, I thought it was kind of weak. What are you guys' thoughts? Um, Uh, I was having this (laughs) conversation with uh, my cousin and he was saying how like people typically think e3 is way more than it than it is or not maybe not just that but like gamers just you know gamers with their expectations and they just keep thinking like every single every single e3 or and not even just e3 every single gaming announcement needs to be out of control cyberpunk 2077 kind of level right so i think I mean, with that being said, though, I didn't really see anything that, like, blew my mind. But there were definitely titles that I got excited about. So I guess only time will, will tell. Maybe, maybe hopefully a lot of these titles do- deliver. But I was looking. I really wanted to hear some Switch news. But yeah, that's yeah. all right to me. Not, was, not the worst. I was kind of hoping for a Switch Pro announcement. But that didn't happen. So it's all good. Um <laughs> but I think one of the things like one of the reasons why E3 isn't like as big a deal as it used to be is because now that everybody has kind of access to just making their own announcements the announcements are more spread out throughout the year so it's not really concentrated at E3 like it used to be E3 mm-hmm. used to be like the big showcase for everything and now everybody's like I, I could do it on my own time uh, Sony can do it whenever they want. They didn't even go to E3 <laughs> this year. And Nintendo announced the Switch on like a random 
October in 2016. <laughs> uh-huh. So it's like, eh, all the big announcements don't really need to go through E3 as a platform anymore. So, and, But with that he- being said, there were some games that I was like, all right, that looks pretty tight. That looks pretty sick. And somebody that doesn't really play Xbox and or PC games, Halo Infinite looked dope. <laughs> Multiplayer is free. Halo Infinite was looking was looking nice. That's crazy to me. I multiplayer, the fact that it's free is wild. Like 13-year-old me, 14-year-old me would be going out of control right now. <laughs> free multiplayer, free to play. So you don't have to buy the game. You can just download the multiplayer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That's what it oh. sounded like. You gotta pay for the campaign, I think. I'm I'm, sure I'm pretty sure that's on, how uh, Xbox Game Pass. That too. Oh, you have to do Game Pass. That's still. No, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just. I'm just right. falling because watching that um, that presentation, everything said Xbox Game Pass basically after it. So that's typically. Yeah, that that, that sounds like that definitely sounds like something they would do. Like I'm like ninety percent sure they would do that. But um, I don't know. Maybe you could. Maybe you could just download them. They, they say it's free. If it wasn't, I mean, if it was Game Pass, then it wouldn't be free because you have to pay pay for Game Pass. So yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, if they let the campaign be on Game Pass, then... right? Yeah. But do do either of you guys have Game Pass? Because I kind of want to know how it works. Is it just like Netflix for video games? I had it on PC. I'm pretty sure on console it's fine. I, I had it on PC. I had issues with the, I had issues with like logging in and stuff. It was actually kind of obnoxious, but when it was working, it was actually great. Like there are actually some noteworthy titles on there. Um, I got to play Slay the Spire for the first time on there, and I ended up buying it on the Switch. I played a lot of the Outer Worlds on it. Um, there were some fighting games. On there too. I think Marvel Infinite's there. I think Killer Instinct's on there. Power Rangers um, on there. Power Rangers. Oh, that's good, right? So I'm sure they added much more since I stopped. But it basically, yeah, I think you you pretty much hit, you know, pretty much spot on there. It's like just Netflix, but games. It's yeah. yeah you just I think you gotta you gotta download the game for sure. Okay. But yeah, it's just all it's all right there for like a, a cool little it's fifteen bucks, right? A month. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure it is. At the t- for me, I think I paid like I was on some trial thing, so I paid like a, a dollar or something, oh, like nice. get something wild, and then I just I, I I just raged because my the account I don't know what happened to my account, but I was tilted and I was like, this is canceled. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> but when it was working, it was good. There are actually really good titles on there. Yeah, can't be paying a dollar for bad service. That's that's unacceptable. Oh yeah, dude! I use bad services for free. <laughs> Come on! Oh man! Um, Psychonauts two finally got a release date. I can't believe it. I I'm in shock. That's the one I didn't I didn't expect. <laughs> I thought they were just gonna say Psychonauts two coming soon. <laughs> oh man! I do want to re-release of or like HD remaster of Psychonauts one. Because two is kind of dated, or not two. Sorry, one's kind of dated. Oh. At this point. Sorry, say that. one's kind of dated, dated at this point. I don't know um, how like how well the how well the game controls because it's been a while. But yeah, since you know they're re-releasing it and a lot of people haven't played, or they're releasing the sequel and a lot of people haven't played the original, it might be a good idea to do an HD remaster of it. Mm-hmm. Wow. I don't know. It might take them 10 years to do the <laughs> HD remaster. <laughs> I mean, the Psychonauts announcements are an E3 tradition, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> uh, there was no GTA 6 announcements. Yeah. You hate to see it. <laughs> maybe one, maybe 10 years from now. <laughs> maybe, uh, probably get it. We got to get GTA 5 on the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, and then the next console generation will finally get a new GTA. Probably. I want to make one last sale of GTA 5. (laughs) (laughs) One last one for the road? Yeah. (laughs) 
classic rock star. <laughs> oh, and I'm also looking forward to um, Super Mario Party. Okay. Or Mario Party Super Stars, whatever the heck it's called. So what's the deal with that one? Like, because I kind of skipped every announcement other than one <laughs> Nintendo announcement. <laughs> um, it looks like it's a compilation kind of of like the first three Mario Party games. Huh. So like 100 mini games on it from one, two, and three, I think. Wow. Maybe some of the other ones are included on there, which I think they should probably include if they can more from like some of the other games. It's got like five boards from one through three and new characters and stuff. And it actually moves pretty fast, which is a big plus. Honestly, my all I want from the new Mario Party is just the dice blocks. I go up to 10 again and no custom dice blocks. That's it. Wait, what the heck is a custom what custom dice blocks? Yeah, what's that? There are custom there are custom dice blocks in, in the Mario Party now, right for the Switch, the one that we mm-hmm. have now. And it basically every character has their own dice block, right? So there'd be like, so like one character will have like a maybe like three, 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 four, 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 four. And one will have like something wild, like one, one, four, four, seven, seven, or whatever. And then like uh-huh. there's one, and then there'd be ones where like you get just three coins randomly, and then you 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 roll the dice, you get three coins randomly, and you or either that or you get a bunch of spaces. But the, the point is, is that custom dice blocks made it so certain characters just made sense to pick statistically over the other ones. Like, it's not, it's Mario Party, so I never really did that. So there were tears in Mario Party? <laughs> yes, there actually was. Statistically, oh statistically, I remember this was week one Mario Party. Statistically, Bowser was the best pick because even though his block had like a minus coin or whatever on there and like a one and like a two... He's the one that had like nine, nine, ten, and mathematically <laughs> that was just, or yeah, it was something crazy like nine, nine, ten, and mathematically that one made sense to pick because you would just cover even if you were failing, if you got it like once or twice, it would make up for the time that you, it would make up for like any other ground that the other characters cover, and the boards are hella small. That's why that's why my, I said like I just want them to have one through ten again. Mm-hmm. But I like the old mini games too, so that's that's good. That's definitely a game on my wanted list because uh, I'm that guy, boys. I'm the one that owns Mario Party. Hey, Mario Party is hella fun. Oh, it is. I lost recently, actually. That game is random. When I lose, <laughs> it's random. <laughs> when, I, when I lose, it's random, right? I lost some. <laughs> I think it was my uh, my cousin won. He had the audacity too to put it on his Instagram story. Can't believe it. <laughs> that game is actually random, but. Uh, all jokes aside, the game is fun. So I'm actually. I made my family rage quit the other day. So. Oh, Mario Party. Oh yeah. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Moss, you want all the mini games? Uh, dude, I had twenty something stars. <laughs> bad. Yo, I yo, I lost. I lost because I got second place because I lost the last mini game. If I had oh, got ten coins instead of if. I, and what's worse, I won all the mini games prior to that, or at least most of them. So I'd have had mini game star, and like I lost the last mini game. I just threw. That was just my fault. It wasn't even <laughs> that wasn't even luck at that point. I just threw. Um, I think my family thinks it's funny. My sibling thinks it's funny that I play so tactically, and like they're just rolling the dice, not even caring. And they have fun, obviously, but they they're old enough. They're old enough. They're like thirteen, fifteen, but like. They always blow me up for thinking too much, but that's what I do. So, if it's a game and there's a strategy, you're gonna use those strategies. Like, hey, I, I'm a winner. Yeah, All right, so I'm winning. We need a a Mario Party land. We need this. This is a Mario Party. You guys, we, we we should have learned our lesson by now. Okay, COVID is you know where uh, our state is officially open you know what i mean for the time being um we <laughs> already we already discussed lands a mario party land it's time boys Who, who's our fourth i don't know i heard infamous and trippy and all those guys play mario party pretty pretty good uh, too we might have to run a, a whole bracket 
Oh man, I don't know about all that. I was talking about with the boy. Who played that all game, bro. Nintendo, we need. There needs to be a four games going at the same time, and all the games are ten turns. <laughs> Gotta get the pools going, and then final round will be uh, grand finals will be fifteen to twenty rounds. Yeah. I oh think my god, he is cracked <laughs> at a uh, Mario Party. Don't say no more. Tell Kazer to come through. Us four, let's play Mario Party, the new one. All right. I'm Tell sure Kazer he'll be to down. Come On the spot, not the boss this time. <laughs> Not two years later. <laughs> Kazer's crap. I need to play a game with Kazer, man. I already I know for a fact it'd be fun to play with him. Like you wanna know how I know too is the fact that when if you guys are making suspect decisions in League of Legends and he's the one going, Oh no, that's how I know he's being fun to play. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You guys uh, see any you guys see any other games you guys are uh, looking forward to? E three? Uh, no. I know oh, I'm else? not really looking for like I don't have it on my radar. Uh-huh. But I know a lot of people that are looking forward to it is uh Breath of the Wild 2. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That trailer was I don't know. Could have done You don't more. know you know how you know how you feel? It could have done a little bit more. Uh-huh. So um so Sacrifier, I I texted you guys. You guys you guys saw it, right? Oh yeah. The RPG that that's tight. Like Naj is pretty hyped about the innovation. I'm ready for that one. Uh-huh. Hey, that's a. That's I'm looking forward to that one. For sure. Oh wait, what about the big news, man? Oh yeah, what about the big news? Kasia is officially in Smash. <laughs> oh huge news oh man that was yes. that that was the best trailer because i thought it was a breath of the wild trailer at first yeah me too <laughs> i was like yo what happened to ganondorf yeah he said what happened to ganondorf i'm done i, I mean since i'm familiar with the tekken lore or for the most part the tekken lore the second the moment i saw the cliff i was like oh snap it's happening and then, because I he Kazuya just throws, or yeah. there's a history of people throwing people the off Mishima, cliffs. The bitch yeah. that we just tossing people. Yeah, they got issues over there. So it's like, yeah. what do you mean? It's like if you're not expecting them to like include him first of all. Yeah. Well, and then it's like they started, but they didn't have the Smash logo to like actually start it. It's kind of like, hmm, which game? What game is actually going to be? What I want to know is how am I supposed to do electrics on the Joy-Con? The input for that is is already difficult on stick and on pad. The input is a so it's all oh, it's genu- generally forward, neutral, neutral. That's the key. So forward and then neutral and then down, down forward, and then you have to hit the button on the same frame as the down forward. How am I gonna do that on a Joy-Con? You can't because the Joy-Con drifts. <laughs> oh my god! There's, n- <laughs> it's impossible. Kazi is our immediately a no-no. Not like this, man. Oh no, that's terrible. Don't give me this. Don't do this. Oh, electric wind god hit for you. But you got ten hit combo. That's gonna be hype. Yeah, people are going to be complaining how broken it is. Yeah, or complaining how hard it is. I had to push 10 buttons in a row. What if it's just forward B? <laughs> oh, like there's a there's oh, an easier no. version. You press forward B, it does less damage. But if you do the actual input, it's, it's better. No, it's just going to be forward B. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> it's, the whole ten, it's the whole 10 hit combo. <laughs> oh, man, that's that's pretty funny. So now I get to hear. You guys know about Kazuya from Smash? Oh, I'm just, I'm just gonna say yes. Yes, Isn't I he do. A Shoto? That's the that's the one that was. Oh killing me. my gosh, that, that can be an entire podcast. I can't believe that it was even a debate. I didn't even I didn't even care enough to read threads. I was just like, you guys are all dumb. Like I can't believe this is actually not even a debate. I don't think he. All it takes is a simple Google search, which everyone should have at this point. 
What you're telling me is he's not a Shoto. Oh, he isn't. He's a Mario Fire brother. <laughs> he's, uh, he's not a Tekken Shoto? <laughs> I guess you could say he's a Tekken Shoto. He's classified as a Mishima character, right? So when you Mishima character... Because Mishima characters typically have um, access to wave dashing. Um the, the the input they're notorious for is the forward neutral down down forward. Heihachi should have that. Jin has that. Kazuya has that. Kazumi has that as well. So they're classified technically as as, as Mishima. But I mean, uh, in all so, seriousness, Shoto's of Tekken. Shoto's of Tekken. I don't know if that's the right. I don't know. Maybe I I guess I I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, but 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 be, but be real though. Like, if someone says Shoto on a stream, do you really think Tekken? I always think, no, no. yeah, I always think Ryu yeah. and Ken, yeah. So, um, I don't know. I mean, I guess at the same time, I'm I guess I'm not gonna give them too much trouble. Like, all memeing aside, because um, if they're not familiar with the with the term, then I guess I I don't know. I guess just uh, and just not use Google to fact check. <laughs> I don't know. I guess they're just oblivious. I guess. Well, it's weird because the. The, I think the, the, the what's it called the division was the new gamers who aren't familiar with Street Fighter people who only know it out of uh, Smash think every Shoto has the auto face and uh, like you know the inputs and that makes you a Shoto if you automatically face and you have like Hadouken inputs. Oh my God, really? Yeah. So that's why they were like <laughs> Terry's a Shoto, Ken Ryu, Kazuya are all Shotos. Oh, no. Oh, Terry is the best Shoto. No, no, no. <laughs> With Terry the charge is my fa- inputs, right? Terry is my favorite Shoto from Street Fighter. <laughs> uh, he's a Shoto from Smash, not from Street Fighter. Oh, you're right. He's on Miles, Terry Bogard from Smash. Miles more of a Shoto because he's got the up tilt anti, the up smash anti air, and a fireball, and that would make him a Shoto. You got the Shoto you can. It's Luigi, that's a Shoto. They had a whole big chart. That was that was the fun part. Oh my god! Oh man, the gaming community is something else. The Smash community is something. Else. Yeah, I love that. You're right. You're my bad. You're right. You're right. <laughs> the the meme the memes after it were actually really funny. I just see I started seeing tweets like Michael Jordan's a Shoto, and I was just like, okay. <laughs> I was like, I see where we're going with this. <laughs> The fact that Hungrybox had to do a he he did a whole what is that he like had to j- did some kind of justification on Twitter like he googled on the FGC glossary or whatever and he's oh like I God, yeah I stand corrected or whatever it is that's so hilarious. <laughs> I mean if if you're just you know casually saying oh yeah you know all the Shotos thinking all the Street Fighter characters yeah that's that's all right but if you're sitting there thinking Terry Bogart is a Shoto. Or Kelsey is a show, though. This is a this is a wonderful debate. I can't wait till I watch this. I listen to this podcast a year from now, maybe two. Yeah, maybe five. Have, have the Inception reviews, <laughs> the, the meta reviews. Yeah, the yeah. review of the review. <laughs> oh man! But uh, yeah, what was I gonna say? Oh well, it wasn't important. I'm sure we're Shoto related. Yeah. <laughs> Our podcast is a Shoto. <laughs> the Shoto of podcasts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no, that's what it was. That's why people don't take the Smash community as a fighting game. Seriously, because we don't even know what a Shoto is. <laughs> <laughs> if, <they're laughs> if the inputs if the inputs require more than just tilting your stick and pressing one button. Shoto. It's a Shoto. <laughs> it's a Shoto. The the every game that every every game with inputs more complicated than holding the stick in a certain direction and pressing a button. It's too complicated. It's too complex. It's an anomaly. It's it's also a bad game. If it has <laughs> <laughs> straight up bad. Obviously. Oh man. <laughs> so it's all bad guy Shoto. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I think they would, I, in my opinion, no. But like, if if, <laughs> if if you're playing Guilty Gear, then technically, yeah, I guess him and Kai Kisuke, 
I think are considered like the if not Shoto's then just like the basic character the kind game. of game. Basically, yeah. So yes. I mean that's good news for Dan. He's finally officially a Shoto. <laughs> oh he's a Shoto. He showed up for sure. He showed up for life. Hmm. I mean, E3, to me, was just the Kazuya trailer. Basically. Uh, yeah, I watched it, and I turned it off right after. So I'm <laughs> there were a couple games, very little games, that actually um, appealed to me outside of the Nintendo. And Nintendo, Nintendo just, Nintendo's just got the, they've just got, they just got it. And every time Advance Wars was hot, oh, yeah. Breath, of Wild, yeah. Breath of the Wild was hot. Um, Metroid was for sure hot. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of int- I'm a little more than intrigued. Um, I'm about to pick up Mario Golf. Oh yeah, Nintendo's just too good. Nintendo, shout us. Surprised there's no Pokemon news. Yeah, it's a letdown. It's all right though. <laughs> Pokemon does their own thing too. Um. Oh man, Capcom's. Oh, Capcom. <laughs> What did Capcom do? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Just wasted 30 to 45 minutes. That's what they did. Wow. They didn't announce anything. I think the one new thing they announced was like a new Ace Attorney game. Everything <laughs> else just like, dude, what, why? Nintendo showed this off <laughs> right. a couple months ago already. Why are you showing this again? And they went over some Street Fighter Five stuff that was like, right, about the I think it was about like CPT basically. Oh, so it's pretty much all old like, news. Why is this an E three? <laughs> Shout out to Capcom. Yeah. Wow. Speaking of recaps and replays, you guys ready to get on the uh, um, action for the podcast? Uh, I'm I'm oh. I'm ready. All right. So we got to test the audio again one more time. And uh, if you want me to stop, just say stop. And we can talk about what we're saying at length. And I think this is going to be like, I don't know, the sixth time I've heard this episode. We're live. Yeah. All right. So for those of you tuning in, this is, so is, is that good? Uh, perfect. Yeah. Sounds good to me. All right. Oh, yeah. And oh, so I guess we can start with the first thing. We're live. The, we're live. When I started the podcast today with We're Live, it was a throwback. <laughs> oh <laughs> my yeah. goodness. You're you're out here making a re- references that I don't even I don't even get. Man. I forgot. <laughs> Good stuff, Nosh. I like that. <laughs> All right. So I'll hit play. And then I mean I guess we can just listen. Let's hear it. All right. So for those of you tuning in, this is the MWG podcast uh this is our first podcast and we're just going to get started today by introducing definitely say the audio quality (laughs) has gone up oh yeah (laughs) classic i i had i don't know about mine but i i my my, i do have a new mic my amas you have a new mic too right yep wait and does everyone did everyone get a new mic yeah i think this is before i got my new mic yeah we 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 recorded the first episode and we're like, mm, we need some new mics. Yeah, I, I think I had, I had a condenser mic the whole time, but I, mine was on its way out, so it, it was, it was time anyway. So, but hey, everyone upgraded. You love to see it. <laughs> and the two other hosts on the podcast, Masta and Carl. And uh, go ahead, guys, introduce yourselves. Oh, I mean, I guess I'll go first. Yeah. All sure. right. So. <laughs> All right, so uh, what's up, guys? Uh, my name is Carl and Sal. Uh, my gamer tag is West Sidious. Um, I've been gaming uh, pretty much all my life, you know what I mean? And then, um, you know, now that I'm 26, uh, you know, I like my 26 now is I just been like, <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> A long time ago, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? How? <laughs> that's crazy oh, uh, i still want to be involved in gaming i love to talk about games and um 
you know, I met uh, Naj and Kayser within the last like two, three, or actually I've known Naj for a while. And then, um, you know, it hit me up about MWG uh, a while ago. Um, Fully Charged got started at the mall and uh, here we are, you know what I mean? We're, we, we got big things planned. Um, I just podcast being one of them and, and now here we are trying to grow the scene together. Yes, sir. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Some stuff. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to take a while. <laughs> yeah, so. love to see it. <laughs> one and a half speeds. Let's hear it. Yeah. We're going to just speed it up a little bit. Cause I mean, uh, one of the weird things about the podcast is you get used to hearing your own voice. But, I mean, I'm used not to- me. I think I hate it every time. I think you. I think you're fine. Not, yeah, not, I'm used to it now. Yeah, you're used to it now. I, I oh, still good. dislike it. <laughs> I'm still like, ah, no, oh, gross, dude. Shut up. <laughs> oh, you guys can enjoy this real good. <laughs> oh, and now I'm gonna be all higher pitched because it's gonna be faster. Get love to see it. <laughs> all right, let's let's hear it. Us. All right, so since we're giving out government names, no. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, that's a little too oh, fast. Oh, hey, chill. 1.25? Or is that 1. an option? 2, yeah. Okay, let's hear it. Let's hear it. <laughs> I don't know. I just seem like... <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, my name is that, Jonathan Moss. Um, my, you know, my handle gamertag is uh, Masa. Um, and yeah, you know, I'm excited to, you know, just talk about fighting games, talk about the community, try to build it up, um, really try to help you know, develop a fighting game team presence here in the Valley. <laughs> um, you know, I've been gaming since for a lot of like member, just like uh, Carl. Um, yeah, I'm just super excited to like get to talk to people, you know, that are around us that have the same passion for gaming and fighting games that, you know, we do. Um, I'm excited to see what MWG and um, Fully Charged and Cosmo back when we still had the, the tournaments going <laughs> we're doing we were still optimistic about yeah. tournaments going back oh <laughs> man guys <laughs> and um i've known Naki <laughs> for a couple of years now man we played a bunch of different games together card games all that good stuff um and carl you know me and you like over the last year year and a half and super cool getting to know you but yeah it's just excited all right and then i'm naji abraham i go by right. visiting tears uh, Here we go. I guess I uh, started MWG, just I wanted to finally host a tournament. And Smash Ultimate came out, and it all just started lining up. And then we've just been Best tournament uh, team, trying man. to build up the scene as much as <laughs> All right, I hate myself on 1.25. What is wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> all my sentences <sighs> ended too quick. <laughs> <laughs> Two years almost. I mean, we hit a big speed bump with COVID, everything else coming out. The woodworks. We're not going to let that stop us. Uh, Jonathan and Wes approached me with the podcast idea. I said, why not? Let's get, uh, you know, let's get the voices in the Central Valley and the community. And let's get them heard because everybody who comes to these tournaments has a story. And we want to help share those stories. So uh, on this first podcast, I think we're just going to share our own stories and how we got started with gaming, what we're into, what type of games we play. Ooh, you guys want to see if we can remember our answers? Yeah, that'd, that'd be uh, fun. <laughs> I feel I'm pretty good at reading my own mind. I really like because I, I have VODs on Twitch all the time and I literally know what I'm going to say before I even say it. So I feel like Do you remember the it, moment. Yeah, I guess remember the moment. No, not not just that, but I just feel like I know myself and it's like gross. I'd be like, oh, man, I'll just say some Carl, some Carl stuff right here. <laughs> hey, yo, Naj. Yeah. You've always had like a pretty good handle on like. Just kind of what's what I'm looking for dictating like the podcast yeah getting things like in order the right way so yeah well, thanks <laughs> compliment on that totally sounds pretty good yeah i mean i'm looking at the video right now 81 views i just want more <laughs> views that's all <laughs> you, we gotta market it i know one year anniversary we didn't even do anything no hashtag you're out then man come on <laughs> Did it? Th- sorry, do we have? Has it always been just a number? I didn't even notice. Like, yeah. did, we don't have titles, huh? There don't you didn't you, know, you don't have any titles other than the okay? Yeah, that's another problem. Because <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I was thinking like I don't even know. It was like a surprise to me, like what we we're talking about that day. But it'd be a lot of work to like <laughs> sift through the videos and, and have to rename them. 
<laughs> oh, it sounds like a, <laughs> we might have to. Dude, I can but help there, you with that. Freaking, I'm still there's, right now. <laughs> there's a description. Oh, but there's descriptions though, right? Yeah, everything has a description. Oh, that would help. Yeah, at least you put a description. That actually would make it 100 times easier. Yeah, where's the hashtag that, Ben? The hashtags, I'm done. We okay. need the hashtags. We're missing those, too. All right, so we'll put that. How come so, the four-page font does? <laughs> episode, uh, season five, we're going to come back with episode titles, hashtags, all that. But for now... I see thumbnails. <laughs> we're going to play the YouTube game. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do the YouTube thumbnail part though you gotta do the whole algorithm thing man <laughs> yeah i mean you can see that we upgraded the uh on the later episodes we have the uh what's it called the sound bar around the logo oh yeah so, shout out to kazer again yeah <laughs> we're gonna shout him out later in this in the first episode we shout him out so, i think we shout him out so often i don't even think like the audience thinks he's real like he's just some kind of <laughs> Some kind of just uh, the scenes. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I can't do all that. He's just he's just some kind of legend. He's he's some kind of urban legend, like a myth. He's fake. <laughs> Hashtag shout out Kazer. Hashtag is he real? <laughs> mystery man. All right, let's get let's get back on to it. And you know, just get to know the community a little bit better because I know. I don't really have that much time when I'm running the tournaments to talk with everyone. And I try to, but I feel like sometimes like you guys just only know me as the guy who's shouting, who's the next bracket match. <laughs> what the? F- yeah, it, it, it's all good. It's all good, Nash. You know, we know we know you love the community, and we would we would absolutely not be here without you and Kaiser. You know what I mean? You guys are pretty here, much here the, it is. <laughs> all the behind the scenes. You guys do a lot of the a lot of the dirty work, and we we need guys like you, just like in general, like not just here, but scenes all around the the country, all around the world. Really, so none of, literally none of this would be possible without you and, and Kaiser. So again, shout out to you guys. I'm sure a lot of the a lot of the kids, a lot of the dudes, uh, you know, girls, you know, pretty much anyone that comes down to this, you know, to the tournament, I'm sure they're just as grateful to be honest. Even if they don't, even if they don't know it, they, they probably know it like defense. <laughs> they're like, yo, <laughs> Nash is doing some work. Nash is doing some work. All right, dude, look focus hey, on my match. Uh, he's doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> Special shout out to Kaiser, man. Shout out to Kaiser. I didn't think my voice could get any higher than it already is. Dude, I sound hella muffled. Oh, because it oh, yeah. maybe it's the maybe it's just the mic. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was the first episode. The the mic. Yeah. Was using the um, PlayStation microphone or PlayStation yeah. headset. That's Yo, this is this is when we remember. Nice, you're saying we should be muted when we're trying to talk to each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh nice. glad we covered that. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. Work. Oh yeah, dude. Definitely want to um, echo what Wes is saying. You know, you guys are both doing a hell of a job. Um, everybody else working behind the scenes. Like, I was super impressed when, like, all the graphics and stuff are coming together and the prizes and everything. Like, the work that's going into this, the love that's being shown, it's definitely appreciated and it's definitely noticed. So, you know, round of applause for both you guys and everybody else behind the scenes. It's got a got a certain mystery man that helps us move out too. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to keep it quiet. Hey, we're, yeah, I'm all for it. I, I, I'm cool with that. So, uh, anyway, Nash, uh, so we sh- introductions, yeah? Uh, yeah, introductions. So, we everybody knows our names now, but uh, what about the games that we play? And, you know, why we like those games? The story. The, you know, the, yeah, the, the story. Yeah. Story time, man. Yeah, it is. Story time's the best, man. Yeah, it really is. Are you, every, every gamer has a story. There's no way you don't. Because you don't just, I feel like you don't just like pull up to, I mean, yeah, it's cool, but like, you know, it's, it's just, a lot of gamers get started for a reason. You know what I mean? So and I think everybody, cool everybody has a horn story, man. Oh, yeah. cool. Yes, you know, and, and we're highlighting it now. So uh, if you guys don't mind, yeah, uh, some FCC origin story time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah, if you guys don't mind, awesome FCC. F- <laughs> you guys mind if I start? Is that okay? Oh yeah, yeah, go for it, go for it. All right, let's let's get it. All right, so yeah, so let's uh, oh. let's start it. So yeah, again, my name, I'm Wes City. All right, Wes, what's your origin? <laughs> oh, I already know what this is. This is easy, dude. I'm just gonna. I probably I don't know I I'm gonna try to TLDR it I I, I grew up something about my first console being uh, N64 if not N64 it's Super Nintendo but I'm pretty sure it's N64 uh, I just grew up playing yeah, whatever literally anything uh, first fighting game was Street Fighter Two uh, the Fun Factory origin story something something about the initial D scene the Street Fighter Four cabinet that's where I got my start I was trash I played Sagat. 
and Ryu. Like height. What's oh yeah, like if I could reach the pedal, <laughs> if I could reach the pedal's initial yeah. D, I would be the best. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see what else. Uh, maybe I said my favorite game was Nice Little Old Republic one and two, perhaps. Yeah. Um, something about playing Marvel three, and what else is my origin story? Uh, I think that might have been it. I'm, I try to TLDR it as long as possible. I don't want to take up too much time, but I feel I definitely mentioned all those things. I feel like <laughs> let's let's hear it. Check the tapes. Check the tapes. Oh. I grew up here in the well. Actually, I I was born in like the Bay Area, but I didn't I didn't grow up there. I'm a Valley kid. I grew, like I came here when I was like uh, eight nine. I was like eight actually. Yeah, so elementary school, middle school, high school. Yeah, and I grew up I grew up here, and um you know a pretty quiet place. You know pretty quiet place the Valley is at least where you know where we're from and. Um, I've been grateful that I'm here. I, I, I have, I couldn't even tell you, you know, yeah, maybe trivial negative experience, maybe trivial negative experiences, but I couldn't even tell you like, yeah, this, this place is awful. This place sucks. Or I've had this. No, it's been, I had a good childhood and, you know, I'm very lucky to have grown up where I grew up. So yeah. So anyway, um, I started playing fighting games, uh, back when, right now at West Valley Mall in, in, in Tracy, um, right. it used to be, it was fun factory before. So right now it's tilt. <laughs> well, a classic, right? You guys have the memories. Yeah. That's the memories right there. So. Marvel 2? Marvel 2. <laughs> Oh man. So yeah, so back then it was Fun Factory. And um yeah, so back then it was Akia. It was I remember Felix was there. I I pre I feel like I saw Sam there, but like very you know, I that was a long time ago. Um but definitely me and Austin there. Johnny was I think I seen Johnny there and then some of the employees too. Uh who was there? Oh, um, Rex, is like, oh. Rex? Oh my god, ben. I heard that. Rex and Ben, man. Rex and Ben. You know, oh, honestly, we gotta to up the tokens. <laughs> I don't know where they're at right now, but those guys are definitely a huge part. I'm pretty sure they had no idea what they were doing. Like, just not, I mean, like, no, not, I'm talking about no idea what they're doing, like, for me, for us. Yeah. Like, that's what I mean. Like, not know what they're doing. Yeah. Ben's like, playing League, I think. Like, yeah. Rex is a nurse. Oh, Rex is a nurse. That's awesome. I, I think yeah, that's he's great. Filipino, man. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, so he's, he's a nurse. He's nursing it up. And I remember, I, I don't remember who I asked about, who I asked about Ben, but it might have been Naj or someone else. I was like, I wonder what Ben's doing. Someone's like playing League. <laughs> <laughs> League and Valorant. League and Valorant. Shout out to Ben. <laughs> Yo, Rex just hook it up all the time. Shout out to him and Ben too. And like, I just, I just wanted to play. You know what I mean? And I was there. And all I know is I seen these, I just seen a bunch of these dudes just huddled around one cabinet. We only had the one cabinet and it was head to head, right? And this is like Street Fighter 4. It wasn't vanilla. It was super. And uh, yeah, there was a huge crowd. And I was like, what the heck's happening? And I can't, I couldn't reach the pedals in Initial D. And I a huge scene for Initial D where we're from. And a lot of my friends, personal friends, even now, like we still talk about the glory days. Oh, how did you switch? switch? I couldn't drive. Right? Street Fighter 4 to... Because the... Because <laughs> the... the uh, so I don't know. The Initial D, <laughs> Initial D was like right there though, next to the cabinet. So that's probably why I talked about... When I was talking about my experiences there... Um, I mentioned, uh, yeah, I just randomly threw. I, it also, 1.25 speed is mad faster than I thought. Yeah. So I, it really did. The transition was wild. <laughs> but, dude, seriously, I'm not even kidding. If I could reach the pedals in initial D, I would have been playing and the best, too. That, that's, like, make me sad. Because all my friends, like, in my Discord, like, legit played that. And they all have their own little stories, like, on that, uh, on that cabinet. So... Man, that's why maximum soon is better because I can reach the pedals and I can. <laughs> I feel like I said that too. I I definitely I said. About to say yeah, it. I'm pretty sure I was the yeah, yeah, little play it, little rock. <laughs> Bro, it's a tragedy, you guys. <laughs> you remember that? Like the initial D used to be popping up. <laughs> yeah, it was, and I wish I could have been a part of it, but I couldn't. So it was a struggle. I'm only five foot. That just I'm putting out a record right now. First episode, I'm only five foot, so I can't reach the pedals. And I I'm at the cabin, I'm like, what's happening? And I just see. I, I wish I could remember some of the earliest matches, but I watched um the employees just play each other and they were having a blast i said dude I, w- I want in on this you know what i mean i think i put some tokens in i played I probably played like I, I was too scared to play other people so i play arcade mode people would challenge me every now and then i would lose because ben and rex were obviously playing in their downtime and, yeah, and i started playing expensive. ryu had no idea what i was doing um i played sakat again no idea what i was doing i was checking fireballs but it don't matter because i didn't i get body every time came home went on youtube and I watched Daigo videos, right? And I was that's when I first got exposed to the uh, Street Fighter 4 scene, never seen in general. So that's like 2010? Yeah, 2010, 2009. I was a junior. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait. wait. I, I think, wait. Uh, I, one of the first matches I remember. Yeah. Did I? Okay, I was wrong about the Maximum Tune thing. But I wonder if I mentioned the, because the first match I legit saw that really got my attention for Street Fighter was when 
Arturo Sanchez was playing Daigo at Seasons of Beatings, I think, in an exhibition or team or like teams or something. Yeah. Like they're playing against each other, and then Daigo does Crouch Fierce DP Super from full screen away because it hits dolls and, and Crouching Fierce or Standing Fierce or whatever. Yeah, and I was like, what just happened? Because I don't, <laughs> I didn't really play Street Fighter yet, so that I think that's the match I was referring to when I said for Daigo. Hopefully, I, I brought think, it up. I think you say both. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Remember vividly is uh, Daigo versus Arturo Sanchez. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> I literally, you can't make, you can't write this. <laughs> you can't make this up. I did not know that part was coming. I swear to God. <laughs> Stand fierce with Dalsim at one end of the screen and on the other side of the screen, complete opposite side of the screen. Daigo is there. He does crouch fierce because he knows it's coming and it hits him and he cancels the super. And I thought that was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. It was crazy. Like I, I don't know if you guys have seen that, but it, it was. Left and right. What's up? Oh, we got uh, Johnny joining us right now. Oh, Johnny. He's hey, listening okay. in. Yeah, he's just listening oh, okay. in for oh, okay. now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, and I saw that, and I was like, yo, Street Fighter is actually ridiculous. It's got, <laughs> yeah, I love it. And I went there, and one of the first things I learned was low forward fireball. I learned how to low forward fireball with Ryu. And I went there, and I was doing it, and I was getting so much mileage out of that. That was classic, low forward fireball. A fighting game classic. I was still losing. Um, I was still losing, but I was having fun. I came home. I met Austin. Um, Austin's one of my closest uh, friends. Young Austin. Young Austin. You, you guys. Young Austin. Oh, young Austin. Young Austin. <laughs> young Austin. <laughs> yeah. It's, bit, the, it's super meta in here. <laughs> oh, man. Was, uh, we'll have him here eventually. But, young know, Austin, I met him. We He's did? my close friend. <laughs> yeah, that was the hardest episode to edit. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we haven't even gotten to you guys yet. Maybe you guys are way better than me, but the amount of ums I'm throwing out is concerning. Uh, I was already counting likes and ums on mine. I was like, ugh. I am awful. Jeez. Uh, it wasn't that bad, guys. It's all right. It really it's, wasn't. It's it not really used wasn't, to hearing yourself. So. I'm really not. I, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> oh. You know what I mean? You and I both grew up beating beating each other up in fighting games and we were both new at the same time so we were both bad and then we both got good at the same time yeah so yeah he also played ryu everyone would, would bust on him too for being trash and it was it was just a fun time man and then yeah and then the rest is history honestly i went home super street fighter was only 20 bucks 30 bucks sorry 30 dollars at the time because Chalice to capcom i think it's because they pretty much re-released street fighter 4 at that point saved up my saved my lunch money to buy that the rest is history man that's how i got started um personal interests uh i have in, i have other interests outside of games um you know i love i love working out i love basketball i love um i want to take other things there's so many things i want to now that i'm older i want to cook i want to do housework uh cooking now right oh yeah i i never stopped like i'm still um i never stopped in fact i gotta hit the grocery store after this for sure because <laughs> i'm really out here lagging i i played i chose guilty gear over that yesterday so <laughs> I do. I think this is about to be one of my favorite parts of like this episode. Because you start talking about um, like wanting to do like home projects and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I I think I'm I'm in the middle of building the gym in my oh nice my, well the room that it used to be mine. All right, I got stuff coming in. Uh, what else? I've done a lot of cleaning in here, but that's as far as I I don't know. You already know it's a long term. But I knew you guys were surprised, right? When I was saying this. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That's funny. Classic. <laughs> uh, that's just that's just like the tip of the iceberg so oh, wait just, a minute you want to do housework <laughs> gosh I, you know what, bro i i honestly I get older home people become your favorite store yeah yo, cl- yo uh, like cleaning is okay i'm down with cleaning but i'm talking about like just projects you know what i mean, yeah, I mean like, like the just, projects oh man. yeah like do yeah. trust me like i want to do that so you just play animal crossing <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> no i'm gonna do it i will do it IRL. <laughs> um yeah hey, and, so uh what's up like just sticking with the Street Fighter real quick. Like, so who do you main in Street Fighter? Oh, well, Street Fighter Four. Who was your like your final main? My <laughs> final main? Yeah. Uh oh man, Street Fighter Four. It's uh my final main. Oh man, I had so many mains in Street Fighter Four. You don't understand. So like, I I couldn't really find a main at at, at first. Like, I played Ryu. I tried Cody. I tried uh you know all those guys. I tried a bunch of characters and none of them really stuck. And the first main I ever had, I think, was Fei Long. First main I ever had was Daylong. Yeah. Not a lot of people know that. I think Austin, I don't even know if Austin knows that, but my first main is Daylong because Daylong's so boring. I, I don't care what anyone says he's boring. Dude, he is. Right? Man, Literally, he is boring. It's just you do, you do crouch, you do crouch fierce sometimes at mid range, you do crouch strong sometimes. Uh, and that's it. And then if you're close enough, you just randomly press jab, and then jab hit, jab, 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 jab
And, and you want to, and also, I think the reason why I started the main day long is because in trial mode, there was this trial. It was crouching short, short. I'll never forget it too. Crouching short, short, standing jab, crouching jab, reka, 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 yeah. And I, I couldn't do it for the life of me. And then after a couple hours, I realized that there's a rhythm you're supposed to do it at. Like there's a certain timing. And you guys know how amazing fighting game tutorials are. So it obviously didn't tell me that. So I had to figure it out on my own. I was like, oh my God, I finally did it. And I was so excited. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, yo, this is my main free. Right? So I, Dude, that's I, like his you know, freaking bread and butter. Are, like, my fair share of raging, uh, fair share of wins, you know, but yeah. And then I just. I can't I tell if the Moss and the Naj are in the, in the, in the video are talking or you guys, that's great. It's actually really funny. <laughs> <laughs> was it you that said bread and butter or was that the video yeah, that was me oh, okay i was just like i sound way like, clearer now than i did <laughs> right I, I, you, you know what though i you know I, I feel like what i've gotten better at is um condensing a lot of my a lot of my stories because i remember after recording all of this thinking exactly that right i was like oh man i gotta focus more on condensing some some stuff because while well, everything i touched on was like relevant um, I've kind of learned to like wrap it up real quick. So <sighs> it happens. <laughs> feel like it just didn't feel something was missing, you know. And I watched, uh, and then I found Aqua Silk. Um, uh, I started watching him on on Twitch because it's just his personality was was so um, it was just so out there, so flashy, and he was just so exciting to watch. And he played Geef, right? And he always troll people by um, doing SPD just. For mid screen, it would work because they press low forward, or you know, he did the snacky special where if you're in the corner with Keith, you'd hold focus attack, you'd cancel out of it, they jump, alter two, right? Did, right? And then when he did that, right, the classic, and when he did that, it was so funny to me. And then while I was, I went to my buddy of, of mine's, uh, went to his house, I played online, I was like, yo, check out this new tech dude that learned Aquasilk, check me out. And I initially, I was just trolling, I, not a lot of people know that, but I think Austin knows that, but I was just trolling, right? I would be like, yo, check out the snacky, I'll do it real quick, like, like I see Aquasilk, focus attack, dash, alter two. Always worked at low rank. At low rank. All right, I'm going to put that out there. It was like, <laughs> it was working. But it was funny to do. And eventually, I just, it actually just became my main because I played him so much. You know, I entered a couple of local tournaments. I beat, I beat a couple people here and there. I lost a lot, but I had fun, man. That was my, that was my main Street Fighter 4. Oh, man. We had Street Fighter 4 locals. Yep. Didn't like getting my lens ripped, but, you know. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, we had one, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's had a couple. Uh, fun fact we counted, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and buy some medium cakes. Just and he gets grabbed. <laughs> <laughs> he got grabbed. Classic. Oh man. But yeah. And then uh, from then on, I played um, other fighting games. I played Marvel Three. I wasn't that good, but I played Marvel Three. I played. Uh, let's see what else did I play? I played Mortal Kombat Eleven. No, not Eleven. Oh my god, the Nine. I'm at Nine. Eleven's still one now. So I played Mortal Kombat Nine back in the day. Uh, I played. Um, eventually, I played Street Fighter Five, and I played Tekken. Uh, and I've tried other random fighting games too. I've played Eunice. I've tried, uh, what else have I tried? Um, Battle for the Grid, the Power Rangers game. Um, Street Fighter 2, I, that was my first fighting game. I played Street Fighter 2. I, I wasn't, I wasn't serious. There it is. Serious about Street there Fighter. There it is. It casual, but it is definitely my first because, you know, Super Nintendo. Um, yeah, so it's kind of, fighting games has kind of just been around for a long time, you know, and it's not going away anytime soon. So yeah, that's my history with, uh, with fighting games. Uh, nice. So, Moss, you want to give your, your history real quick? Hey, let me jump in this. Um, All right, Moss, you ready for your predictions? <laughs> uh, let's see. Definitely going to talk about Genesis, Street Fighter 2, Mortal Kombat, and play with my siblings, mm -hmm. um, Smash, Marvel 2, uh, and then probably Street Fighter 4. Okay. <laughs> As far as like fighting and like order goes, in that order, <laughs> we'll talk about Tracy, which is funny because we all follow the F Tracy. Twitter <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. I got my Genesis for Christmas. Definitely mentioned. Well, let's see it. So yeah. Like I mentioned earlier, you know, I've been playing video games since I was like four or five years old. Um, likes. I vividly remember getting our first Sega Genesis. So I grew up with Genesis, not a Super Nintendo like everybody else. Oh, oh man, that's, 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 that's old school. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, uh, Genesis was my console growing up until, um, you know, we got Sega Saturn, but that broke and didn't really have like a lot of games for it because it was Sega Saturn. <laughs> Um, so, you know, I've had a PlayStation, I've had all the PlayStations basically since PS1. Um, 
yeah, so it's just been gaming forever. Um, like playing, I think, so one of the, two of the first games we got for our Genesis were Street Fighter 2, Champion Edition, and Mortal Kombat 1. So I've been playing fighting games since forever. Um, you know, me and my siblings used to play Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat all the time. Um, like we've, we had Mortal Kombat 2, 3, Ultimate 3. We had all of them basically that were available on Genesis. Um, same thing with uh, Street Fighter 2. So yeah, we've just been fighting games have been around my life for like ever. Um, you know, growing up, played a lot of Super Smash Bros. Melee. Uh, um, that was like our go-to game from probably like middle school all the way <laughs> till probably like my freshman year of college because Ball came out that like year. <laughs> <laughs> I think this was before Slippy, right? Yeah, it was. And I actually have a PC so I can play now. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, even like before COVID hit, we were still playing Melee. <laughs> I love best. to see it. Best game, man. Oh, man. Um, so yeah, like we would play that like week in, week out. Um, what did you mean back then? Um, so back when I could actually play, um, Falco <laughs> was like my main name. Oh, main. the bird. Yeah, I could actually combo back then. Now, uh, not so much. Definitely can't. <laughs> like, I, was actually, like, I tried it on Sleepy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> but the rollback. My Falco was, is... <laughs> he's gone. Just gotta warm up. <laughs> <laughs> Me that or play Marth. <laughs> <laughs> I have to, like, use almost all of the characters and, like, a way that was like competent. Um, I couldn't use like I find myself like the characters that were actually like needed like special tech to use correctly. That was insane. <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> played a lot of Marvel two, um, and a lot of Street Fighter four. Like Street Fighter four was when Street Fighter four and Brawl were like where our like my friends competitive. I started playing more competitively. <laughs> Like we really took Street Fighter, tried to take Street Fighter Four, Street Fighter Four. Sorry, seriously. Um, Man, Street Fighter Four was was the origin of the FGC. If you ask me, like just origin stories like all the, the time. Um, it was like the the big Phoenix rebirth, basically. Of <laughs> yeah. Oh man! All right, we'll get it was back around. To... It was just it was like underground still. Yeah. And then Street Fighter 4 came around and was just like, hey, <laughs> we're here. Those were the best. We took Brawl really seriously for like the first year. Mm. Um, we went to a lot of locals. So, you know, um, whenever Sam's on here, <laughs> we'll probably talk about that. Um, we did a lot of locals and stuff. Okay. Yeah, we got Sam on here. <laughs> Dude, that was a long episode. That was fun, though. Yes. Two well, that was a good time. That was <laughs> big, super story time. I gotta listen to that again. Oh, yeah, man. It's, uh, it's right there. Um, <laughs> went to a couple of like, majors in Sacramento. Um, I forgot which major it was, but there was one in, oh, I can't think of the name of the city. Emory. It was like a 200 plus entry tournament, and Sam got like top 64, I wanna say. So, like, we were taking the ball pretty seriously. Um, yeah, Street Fighter 4, like, so when Street Fighter 4 dropped, I was in college and we got the arcade cabinet hell early at Tunnel State. Nice. Nice. So, Must yeah. be nice. We were playing a lot of that. Um, <laughs> like, even when it dropped, it was a dollar. The lines were still ridiculous. Like, Street Fighter 4 was super high. Oh, you guys are paying a dollar down? That's crazy. People were paying a dollar to play Street Fighter 4. That's a make chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, this is like 2008, so like a dollar is actually like, it still has some value. <laughs> Um, Those matches were yeah, quick, too. Well, they were? Like, people were getting off the sticks pretty fast. <laughs> it was, like, the biggest waste of a dollar. Like, the fastest way you can waste a dollar. <laughs> Man, that is insane, dude. That's, that's a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. It dropped down to 75 cents, like, a couple months later. I think by the end of the semester, it's 75 cents. That's still a lot, but it's better. Yeah. We were playing a lot of Street Fighter 4. Um, 
I remember when, you know, the consoles came, or when the final consoles, we were all buying arcade sticks. So, like, we spent, like, a good amount of money on sticks, you know, all that. So, it was just a lot of fun, um, you know, just going out, was fun games in general. Um, you know, I've met a lot of my friends through video games in general and fighting games specifically. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, like, a lot of my really close friends have come through gaming in general. So, yeah. Gaming's a hub, dude. I mean, it, it's, it's done so much for us. And a lot of much for us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's episode one. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might have been episode two where I started editing the uh, stuff out, but we'll see. Oh, nice. If I have a bunch of deep breaths, we'll know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Like, it's a way my, life. It is. Yeah. So, well, like my two closest friends from my elementary school were kind of games, basically. So everyone, it's everyone's got a story, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. Uh, hey, so Moss, uh, so who'd you main in? So who'd you real quick? So who'd you main in Brawl and Street Fighter for? Uh, uh, so Brawl, um, Brawl took a little bit of soul searching. Um, <laughs> I I know that feel. There's too many too many issues with the characters I wanted to play. Like Luigi got chain grabbed too easy. Wario got chain grabbed too easy. But he was actually still really good. Um, I think I ended up, like. Staking with Donkey Kong. Oh, classic. Um, yeah, dude. Had all, uh, had all the bikes. <laughs> <laughs> You've been having it, dude. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that was my name for... It sounds so muffled. <laughs> yeah, that was the mic. Shout out to New right, Tech. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Upgraded. Um, Luigi as well, but yeah, didn't work out. Um, I think I ended up sticking with Wario and uh, Donkey Kong. Um, Street Fighter 4, I've always been a Bison main. Um, I tried to main Cammy at first, but I wasn't feeling it. Bison, for some reason, I just don't hair towards. The high kick was always fun. <laughs> yeah, you're talking about standing roundhouse? Yes. That's, yeah, that's not fun. That, not, 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 literally, nothing about that movie is fun. Like, it's just, so, yeah, I just get hit. No, you grab me. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just grab limbs. We don't, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. <laughs> um, and then Melee, even though, um, yeah, so Melee. Falco was my like original name, um, right? But now I like mostly play Luigi. So like, uh, my hands aren't fast enough to play Falco anymore. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. That's <laughs> oh, that's funny. It happens, man. Comes with the uh, comes with comes with the comes with the age, and also the time too. You know what I mean? Like just not having time in general. But it it's like playing, like kind of play like ultimate, anyway, like going from like melee to ultimate or like brawl to melee. It's just like it messed up my timing for me. <laughs> Oh, it's night and day. Absolutely. I agree. Oh, yeah. So, well, I mean, now you got wisdom instead of, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, what they, that's what they all say. When you're, when you, get old, you, got, you know, the, the young man reflexes, he traded in for the wisdom, but yeah. that is true, though. we don't react anymore. We just know it's coming. Yeah. Like I've gotten like a little bit riskier in some of my melee play. Like I can, I'll go out and enjoy more so than I would before. Right. Cause I can't like, <laughs> I don't have the same controls I did before. <laughs> so now I actually have to like go out and try to like kill people. Or, like with Luigi. It's hard and really good. Yo, I know there's right. a part at like, the point in this podcast, like around this point, I think, or maybe it's it might have been during when Najee goes over his stuff. Yeah, but I'm trying to think of a word for hello log, <laughs> and I can't think of the word. <laughs> and I know I dropped an f bomb. I don't know if you can hear it in here, <laughs> but I remember the first time I listened to this, I was like, oh my gosh, that's where it is. <laughs> and the word was so simple: it's execution. I just couldn't, it just wouldn't come to me. Oh my God, right, well, let's look out for it. <laughs> now I'm listening. Yeah. That's already cool. For him and Melee, at least. Sucks and brawl. You know, um, people talk about that a lot, just getting older and the young men reacting and everything. You know, at, at this stage of, of my life, I feel like this is probably I'm the, the best, best that I've ever been. Yeah. <laughs> the best that I've ever, I was just thinking that too while Moss yeah. was talking about that called it i was just thinking about that i was like this is like the best i've ever felt i still have them by this too if you showed me guilty gear when i was like 16 18 or whatever i'd have been hot garbage forever like so <laughs> those are the opposite and i totally get that right but for me i feel like my decision making has improved because i don't think my decision making very good like yeah. back in the day i really wasn't i'm a lot smarter now um as for my reactions uh, I always I always talk a big game. I always do that no matter what. But I don't really feel like it's been like 
anything special, anything like significant. It's decent, I, in my opinion, you know, compared to other people. But um, I feel like my strength is probably beating my opponent. And because I've just developed more of a game sense, the older I got, I kind of get a feel for um, just uh, just anticipating things, you know. So uh, rather than just reacting to it, but that's just me. A lot of people are different, so you know. Yeah, I get that. Like, you know, as we get older, our thinking is going to change, and oh yeah, that can yeah, like translate into how you play, which I think you know helps compensate for. I think this is you know, your problem. Um, because <laughs> I'm struggling <laughs> so hard to figure out what we're going to say. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> like your control, I guess. Right. So, so yeah, Nash, what, what about you, man? All right, I guess well, it wasn't, uh, wasn't gotcha. audible. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't too bad. Good thing that mic sucked on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I think my predictions, I think I start with, I don't know if I told the, the Whispering Tears origin story. I don't if think I did, we get to that until we get to our um, to the gamer tag episode. Like we do that for one's intros. Yeah. All right. So I skipped that one. Uh, I think I'm gonna talk about uh, how I was the worst at fighting games in the punching bag. Uh, Dota for sure. Maybe Maple Story. D- did you mention Sma- you you liking Smash because of the less execution and then like the inputs? Do you like the inputs in Smash? I think I did say that. You say that? Yeah. Because it's, no. it's the truth. <laughs> yeah, no shoulders. <laughs> oh, man. Well, let's see. Grew up in Tracy. I think I moved there 2001 or 2000. I uh, just remember it was like right after Y2K and everybody was supposed to be done and dead. <laughs> Y2K. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, but I didn't get started with fighting games until I was in senior year of high school. Mm-hmm. I actually started off with like uh, PC games, like RTSs, Maple Story, Dota. Yes, Maple Story. I'm still playing. <laughs> never, never retire. Somebody stop him, <laughs> and no one does. <laughs> and then one day, I went to my friend uh, Chris's house, and he had third strike, and he just wrecked me in that game. He didn't tell me I had to block low. Just combo me for free. I think I got one round out of ten, and I'm not talking about like the match. Just one round. But after That's... that, I was hooked. <laughs> so I mean, I started with Third Strike, but it was in college. Street Fighter Four came out, and I didn't have the PS3 at the time, but my roommate did. So I went out, got Street Fighter Four, and would grind it online when he wasn't playing. Right. Man. But yeah. Uh, you did the four, grinding online. Yeah. It's probably why it wasn't so effective. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were right next to each other. Just played. <laughs> no, no. He, he didn't like Street Fighter. He got oh, it for okay. uh, Mass Effect. Ah. Oh, okay. Hmm. I mean, there was an arcade at State 2, but mm-hmm. I, was, I was not ready. That's, a lot for of, that. that's an investment right there. Yeah. That dollar investment, man. It's too much. I'd rather just buy the game and lose at home. <laughs> I was, always, I was always into Smash. Uh, I never played Melee. Right. When it was competitive, I didn't get it until like, I don't know, 2010, 2011. But like at that point, I was like, there's no way I'm catching up with everybody. I'll just play for fun. <laughs> but I've always been big on Smash just because it's, I mean, with me, I like fighting games, but my execution and my yeah. inputs are always- That's what I looked for the longest time. <laughs> yeah. My execution is kind of weak. So that's why I like Smash games. It's a little more forgiving on the right. top. But uh, hmm. I'm a loss in my thought. But yeah, so I started with Street Fighter 4. I was like, serious fighting games. That's when Marvel 3 came out. Street Fighter 4. Marvel, baby. Marvel. Yeah. Uh, Adon was my main in Street Fighter 4. Oh. I just love Jaguar kicks, Jaguar everything. <laughs> Classic, dude. I'll never forget it. I, I remember that. It was just one movie you had to do, Standing uh, Roundhouse. That, that was my game plan. Oh, my God. It hit, you, that shit. it hit you, like, what, two, three times? Yeah, across the stage. <laughs> mm, look at the profanity. Break folks to cancel, man. <laughs> All right, break folks to cancel. Oh, man. You like guys like the profanity? <laughs> yeah. Well, it can't get as worse as the Austin one. <laughs> no, nothing was worse than that. <laughs> I even had I took 50 out and I still had to leave 10 in because there was no way to edit it <laughs> okay oh my gosh <laughs> oh man 
Yeah, so uh, from there, kind of branched off because we had an arcade at our school too, and they had more of the like Japanese fighting games like Blaz Blue and KOF 13. And I, I love watching the dudes play because they'd be pulling out some crazy combos. Oh, yeah, so, dude. And then from there, I just, I mean, I've, I've taken like a sideline on competing, but I always enjoy playing any type of fighting game from Street Fighter 4 all the way to like Unis or something. That's right. the latest one I picked up. And, you know, I never actually compete, but <laughs> I don't mind watching people play and playing <laughs> with people. Uh, the first time I started actually, you know, getting better was I would play with Moss and his friends. And, dude, <laughs> they taught me the hard way, but <laughs> I learned. You like that sometimes. I yeah, like that, man. How do you think I can learn? You grew up with us. <laughs> dude, how the hell did you guys understand me? <laughs> I, I, I can understand I, I, yeah, I could. I, I feel like I understand. I feel like maybe I'm, it's just, I'm, I'm maybe it's just a 1.25. It's throwing it off. Yeah, right. It's just speeding everything up. Like the in, it's hard to hear sometimes. You know what? Just for yeah, the what we should we'll, hold on, hold on. Oh. So what we should have done for the review is not only obviously listen to this, but we should have reverted to our old mics too. Oh my gosh! I don't have the old, old times like. <laughs> Get the old mics. <laughs> I don't have that one no more. Let me it just unplug apart. this. <laughs> oh man! That's the one competitive. I we know, Nash. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to see me in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, Hearthstone. Any, name them. I got an account. <laughs> you know, Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh is too advanced. Like OTK is um, <laughs> everything's OTK. Oh my gosh! Wait, what is okay? Hold on, I don't play card games. So what is OTK? One turn kill. You, you lose in one turn. Oh man, that's how that. Can you imagine, dude? That's like that's a that reminds me of Twenty XX and Melee. You know, Hacks is talking about how like everyone would play Fox is gonna be optimal, <laughs> and like you're just gonna die once you get hit once. Yo, that's card games. It's come to oh, that yeah, point. Dude. Yeah, it's come to yeah, that point where like um, just it's basically like Marvel. Like a Marvel game now. <laughs> Just wait your turn. Your turn after your character dies. OTK. Man. I know as we mentioned hacks a year ago. It's, it's amazing how much life can change in a year. <laughs> oh yeah, that's uh that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Your deck revolves around a certain meta game plan and boom. OTK. Yeah. You know, people always talking about uh, my turn in fighting games. Mm-hmm. Right. And, like, when you play Marvel 3, you don't get a turn sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, it. Game you know. <laughs> Marvel. <laughs> oh, man, the memories. Look, I still have the same train of thought. You see that? Yeah. Oh, man, dude. It, 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 you don't escape it. <laughs> There's no way out. That's why, like, uh, There's that's no why, escape. Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. Wait, hold on. That's why you like what? I wanna, I'm, I'm curious. Oh yeah, that's why I like Magic right now the most because okay. the meta is really even. There's a couple busted decks right now, but they nerfed them, and so you can get away with doing anything. It's kind of like how Street Fighter Four—you can main anyone and you get results. Until right. you got the the last one, Ultra, and you just <laughs> play winner. <Lana? laughs> right before Ultra. <laughs> <laughs> but that's there's good to hear. Though. That's good to hear. Um, hey, no, just, yeah, that, that yeah. So is Magic still uh No. Uh, <laughs> no. The the deck, like, I don't know. There was a problem deck at the time, and then they gave more support for it. So uh it was rogues. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so rogues had some support, it was fringe support, but then they printed the new creature, and the deck is basically a bunch of one drops, it's super cheap. And the strategy is to mill your opponent's deck while at the same time having counter magic up and a threatening board state. So it's like you have to beat your opponent on three different three different strategies. That sounds yeah. disgusting. And if you can't beat them on three different strategies, you lose. And they just have to just sit there and play their cards like for free. Ugh. That sounds gross. So there's that's the aggro deck. And then the Control deck on the other end of the spectrum just cast a spell and they win. They just have to cast one spell. <laughs> Cause it gives you an extra turn and a creature and all this other nonsense. So yeah, so you either fight tooth and nail or lose to one spell. 
Mm. Well, not that fun. <laughs> hey, you know what though? At least you guys can find your cards. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, Target doesn't have anything anymore. <laughs> do we have a card? Do we have an episode where we talk about cards? Yeah. We do, uh, right? Yeah. It's uh, it's episode it's number season, season title. <laughs> It'd be funny is listening to that one and realizing that you can't even get cards at Target anymore. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Never would have guessed. Right. All right, I'll start it back up. That's that's good. Uh, you know what I mean? If Magic the Gathering's, if you know, in your opinion, it's like that. It's always good to hear, man. You know, when you just see um, just different play styles. Um, you know, who doesn't like that? You know, so that's that's good. You definitely have to get some more card game insight later on. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I'm curious. I have so many questions. You don't understand. Like, card <laughs> games is – like, I was at work the other – like, a couple weeks ago, and I was talking to this guy who – it's crazy because this dude's, like, 36, and he doesn't look 36 at all, right? And I was just talking to him, and he's like, yeah, I'm into so many things. I was like, dude, I love Magic the Gathering. I was like, oh, snap, that's crazy. Like, there's a scene out here at Play Live, and he's like, oh, that's wild or whatever. I think he mentioned something about his sister being involved too, but that's – that's a story for another time, but uh, yeah, he was saying. And card games are they're bigger, just bigger than I, I thought. And I, I'm definitely gonna have a lot of questions, Nash. Oh yeah, and there's a lot of similarities too, like like the ideas of like tempo and good matchups and all that stuff. It translates right. back and forth. So I mean, if you're good at fighting games, you can be good at card games, just the same. Oh man, I believe it. Uh, all right, so um, and we got five, we have yeah. five minutes left. Like, how are we looking yeah. on? How are we looking <laughs> on time right now, Nash? Like, yeah, we still it's looking. It's lit. So I think we should just start wrapping it up. All right. I, I, that's cool. That's cool with me. Uh, yeah, we're actually uh, on time here, too. So I'm going to set it to 1.5 for the no, time. We, we had a time this, limit? You know, this, yeah. You yeah, because yeah. we didn't have the premium. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I forgot about that. That's funny. <laughs> All right. The so the, the last, what, five minutes of this episode is just us going over, like, our top five games. Right. Right. Um. Oh. So it's been over a year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't write wanna, it down. Uh, I, I know which games are, I know which games are still or which games I have on there. Have you guys been playing anything? Like, do you guys have any new favorite games that are like more modern that aren't on this list? I think I would switch. At, I think I would switch. Oh, for the year? Not even you know, not even like switching any games out. Just like over the last year, we've been well. I've gotten a chance to play a lot more games since of COVID and stuff. Um, do you guys have any new games that you enjoyed over the last year? Over the last year? Yeah. Uh, well, 20, well 2020, 2020 was like yesterday. So I guess it counts <laughs> when I say The Last of Us 2 and <laughs> The Last of Us 2. And then um, that, that's one I genuinely enjoy that's like something that sticks out to me if i could redo the list i'd probably even switch out ocarina of time not because i don't like ocarina of time but i just think that the last of us 2 resonated with me a lot more than that game did wow yeah no ocarina of time was great wow. right if any if anything it i may or may not switch it with something else but that's interesting um, yeah undertale 2 oh undertale 2 ocarina of time is to like one of the best games of all time man oh yeah i agree I, I I agree, but if I give a real if I give a real top or a top five again now, I'd probably rise it. I'd probably put Undertale in there and then Undertale and The Last of Us two in there. I'd probably swap two randomly. But so you're really that's... just gonna put the most controversial game of 2020 <laughs> in that list? All right, Carl. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll happily put it in there. I, a lot of people. I'm not even scared to do it. Too. I genuinely love that game. Again, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it. Oh yeah, I definitely defended it eventually in one of the episodes, but it was just it was just political. And I defended it, and I have no issues. Oh, it's time <laughs> to make the tweet: Last of Us Two over Orcarina of Time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nice tabloid, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, do we want to hear the? Uh, I didn't have any new games, just Dota Two. Just let's see. Yeah. No, my list hasn't changed. Still. Shit, what was my list? <laughs> I know Sonic was on there. I want to say God of War, Metal Sonic, God of War, Marvel, Smash, and Metal Gear. Oh, I think Metal Gear was on there. I remember that. Okay, maybe we should look into this. <laughs> yeah, I think mine had 
Oh, did I really put Maple Story? No, you guys had Paper Mario on there. Yeah, Paper Mario. Uh, oh, that stays there forever. Yeah. I don't know. Lately, uh, Breath of Fire. I've been missing that game. Listening to the soundtrack. Uh, Dota 2 for sure. Kingdom Hearts might be on there. And I think it was Skullgirls got an honorable mention. Oh, nice. Let's see. Since so none of, I don't think anything would change, but there are mm-hmm. definitely games that I really enjoyed. They're not they didn't come out last year, but I started playing them last year. Um Persona 5 definitely is I really like that game. I just finished beating it. Great game. The soundtrack is amazing. And it's freaking long as hell. And Hades. Mm. Oh yeah, Hades. Hades. You're right. You're right. Hades is a good game. And I need to finish Last of Us too. But yeah, Hades is really good. That's another game I played over the year. And Shout out to Hades. We've mentioned Hades on here multiple times. So mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great game. All right. Well, let's hear what our top fives were. <coughs> Are you good, Nash? Oh, did the, did the mute happen? Yeah. All right, <laughs> well, good now. <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's go. Yeah. So it's 1.5 speed, though. So it's, it's uh, going to be really vu. cringy. It's deja vu, huh? <laughs> deja vu. So, yeah. personal top five games for me. Oh, um, I'm mean, actually I have the list, dude. I'm I'm in there with the time. Check me out. So <laughs> check me out. So number five uh, for me is Street Fighter Four. Um, you know I started that, that I have one fighting game in it. It's that, and that's pretty much what started it all. So I actually just love all fighting games, but Street Fighter Four was the one that got started for me. Number four is GTA San Andreas. Number three is Zelda: Ocarina of Time. Number two is Paper Mario. And number one, my favorite game of all time is Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic, the classic. Oh, and I've never got to play that game. You have to. I don't care how old it is. You need to play it because it's one of the best RPGs I've ever played. Like, I, I, if you can, I don't know if you guys just noticed, but my list, all four of those games have a wonderful story, and I love story so much. And Knights of the Republic, same thing. And it's on mobile too. No excuse to not play it. Every okay. platform. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's my list. Real quick. Um, yeah. I just bought an original Xbox, Ooh. and I'm trying to get Kotor. It's easy to find. I just haven't picked it up. Mm-hmm. That's good. I'm glad it's I mean, easy to I bought find. I bought Kotor too. That's a good one. But I gotta get Kotor one first, so you should play Kotor one. Kotor two is good by itself, but in, for Kotor two to really hit you, you right, I think Kotor one is like the move. Yeah, I now I have to hear on my list. I definitely would switch Ocarina with The Last of Us Two oh. at this point. I don't know if it'd be number three, Whoa. but it'd be a, it'd, it'd be in there. Um, yeah. Also, one last thing. I feel yeah. like listening to myself at 1.5, I don't know why it sounds normal to me. I feel like I talk fast already. <laughs> 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 Just a thought. All right, let's hear the next list. Okay, so for me, um, I'll go fun. Or, yeah. So number five, I'd say it's uh, God of War. The original one for PS2. Um, next would be... Um, I'll go with Pokemon Red or Blue, um, but I have Red. Okay. So, red. Um, so no I'll just have on two. Melee and my number one is uh, Sonic the Hedgehog three with Sonic and Knuckles. It has to be attached. <laughs> Sonic. Oh man, so thoughts. So no metal gear. <laughs> A man of impe- impeccable taste. Do you see how specific number one was? <laughs> oh yeah, dude. And I even go into why. <laughs> but yeah, it's, also, <laughs> it's a complete game. Sonic <laughs> three is not complete by itself. <laughs> oh, my fault. Oh. Yeah, you have to have the complete game. <laughs> all right well i guess for me top five bottom up would be age of empires it was the first like pc game i ever played oh man i borrowed it from my friend and just took off on rt uh yeah, rts's final fantasy 10 uh that was like the first final fantasy i beat one of my favorite rpgs uh number three would be paper mario it was <laughs> it was a perfect game you don't need to tell me yeah <laughs> the first one or the second one the first one okay because that was the endorsement too yeah you're right you're right and then number two and number one are kind of tied, but I'll say number two is Dota. That was the, that was my game. <laughs> but number one will be Pokemon, just because it was the first game I got. I played almost every generation. It's classic. It's, it's classic. Not classic man. Which, which generation do you play? All right. So like, now what's wrong with me? I listed two whole RPGs. I don't play RPGs anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the patience. Oh, man. All right. Let's, let's finish this out but i skipped black and white because all the black and white got beat on like smoking and all that and showdown mm-hmm. so i was like i'm not playing this game <laughs> i already got it for free <laughs> yeah. Yo, black and white, though, that's when we were playing uh the card game <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah that's a, that's a great list man i'm glad we got to talk more about that paper mario thing because that game is perfect i don't care don't at me either that game is perfect <laughs> hey, paper Mario is fun. um well, well, so I'm really excited for, uh, 
Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see. I, I gotta see it first because I'm such a purist when it comes to that game. We'll see. Um, I'm excited. They're taking it back to the root, so it should be fun. It better be right. And nobody got the Switch one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, it just wasn't pure enough. You hate to see it. No, we still didn't do a Paper Mario episode. Well, I forgot you even suggested that. We, we sorted it when our dog came on. He liked it. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll count that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, anyway, now, so um, yeah, so I guess that's uh, got about minute 59. Yeah. Wrap it up. Right. So let's wrap it up here. Uh, thank you for joining in on our first podcast. This was just the initial one where we introduce ourselves, get a, get a little idea of who the hosts are and what we'll be talking about. Our next podcast will be on, uh, I don't know when we're going to release them, but we're gonna be- I got to edit that part out. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, wait, 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 what happened? I say the I date it. that we record. We got mystery dates now. Yeah, oh, we got mystery man. dates. This is before the, uh, the tradition. Oh, the tradition. Never forget the tradition. <laughs> um, you know, make sure you tune in. We're going to start having members of the community, uh, people who go to the tournaments coming in. We're going to have our friends coming on. If you have any topics you want us to cover or any games you want to suggest or anything like that, feel free to hit us up on our socials. That's uh, MWG on Twitter. We'll, we'll get all that stuff out there, too. Okay. See you in the next one. Yeah, in the next one. Uh, so this is Tia signing out. And Moss is signing off. And West Lady is signing out. It's your boys. All right, lit. All right. Man. I'm scrolling down. Yo, I'm glad we don't. I'm glad we don't <laughs> sign out ourselves anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it was getting a little confusing eventually. It's easier. Yeah, it really is. But yeah, man. One whole year later, one comment. Poggers. <laughs> <laughs> Poggers. <laughs> that's all that's, that basically sums up the entirety of the MWG MWG podcast, don't you think? Poggers. <laughs> 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 to the MWG podcast. This is episode number two. Oh, oh, the, the, or do it's part two. <laughs> oh, no. The three-hour <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Long enough. I can't believe oh, it's really been goodness. a year. I know, right? I think we've gotten at least, yeah. Actually, as a never mind, all of us together. I think all of us have gotten. We've improved significantly when it comes to uh, wrapping up when it's appropriate. Kind of, uh, I found myself I found myself rambling a lot of times, so I'm kind of glad I've eased up. Yeah, I think my breath control is a little bit better because you couldn't hear it in that one, but there was one or two episodes. It's just Dude, asthma I attack. Remember, I remember <laughs> the first time you sent over like just your comments on the editing of it, and you were like having a conniption. Over your breathing, yeah, and, and you can barely hear anything in the episode. I hate it. Like you guys hate hearing your voice. I hate hearing. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's, yeah. It's I'm part of your to... charm, Nosh. Yeah. What's charm <laughs> about? <laughs> oh man, but yeah, a whole year podcasting, thirty-five episodes. 52 weeks, some breaks, oh man, new mics. It's been a, it's been, it's been a ride. <laughs> the new mics. It's been a ride it's for sure. Been necessary. Oh, we've been doing the podcast longer than we've been doing tournaments. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, 2020 was such a wonderful time, was it not? Hmm. Oh my gosh. It's been fun. It's been fun, you guys. Though it's been definitely has been, yeah. Because I just to, uh, know you guys better, getting to know your crazy opinions on games better. Yeah, we, we've talking. never had a controversial opinion on you. What are you talking about? <laughs> I have also never had a controversial opinion. All my opinions are reasonable, and everyone agrees with me. I always use facts and logic when I do when I give my opinions. <laughs> None of my none of my opinions are based solely on emotion or trivial things. <laughs> yeah, it's it's been fun, you know, because we've been, you know, there's just all this gaming news every year, every few months it feels like, and it's kind of nice just to, you know, have a discussion with others about it, and you know, at the same time, tell some stories. You know what I mean? 
doing our opinions. Talking to people. I yeah. mean, that's always that's always been you know the most fun mm-hmm. episodes is when we have people on and we get to just talk about everything with them, get to know them right. better. Yeah, which is going to be really cool for once we actually get to finally meet up in person again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I'll be uh I'll be ready. It should be a lot easier to get people on the pod once that. Happens. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We could even do a live show. We can. We yeah. can do a live show. Yeah. Oh, well, that's far in the future. That's for next year when we do the live recap of the recap. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, the um I, I I can see that, and then the camera the camera that we use is gonna be subpar quality. That's when the very next year we get the we get the DSLR camera and we do a recap of the recap, but with a better camera that time. Like wow, we use this camera. <laughs> It'll be twenty twenty three. That'll be Casey's responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout outs to Casey. Yeah, shout outs to Casey again. Who may or may not be real. <laughs> oh, man. Well, uh, it's been great. I just want to say thanks to you guys for always being on, always being entertaining, always being fun. And thanks to our listeners for sticking with us for a whole year. Please, we want more than one comment. So go to the episode one and leave a comment and go to this episode and leave a comment on YouTube. I mean, it's been a year. Like, tell us what your favorite parts were, what episodes you liked. They're all numbered. Don't. <laughs> we don't have titles, but we do have numbers. Just let us know. Yeah. Just you, you know what, viewers? Click a random one. You know what I mean? Just, just on, on a limb. It's a surprise. <laughs> and give us your Naruto hot takes because we're going to need them. <laughs> we still need the Naruto episode. One day soon all right well this has been whispering tears masta and westidious catch you guys next week later later